Hi, my name is Ori Kopelman, and I'm running for the office of mayor. Am I a businessman or an idealist? The answer is both. I was with a company in Silicon Valley that grew from 50 to 500 people in a period of six years. I've also written a book since I've come to Maui called Creating Mauitopia, which some of you may have read, and it's also available at mauitopia.org. So the answer is I am both an idealist and a businessman. And I'm planning, if I get elected to mayor, to run the county as a business, to increase its efficiency. Now, of course, we do have to also address key issues such as growth and uh, a lack of supply of water. The other thing is, I think that if people did what they love to do for their work, everything would work out. Again, my name is Ori Kopelman, and I'm running for mayor. Okay. The first question that we have for you is in regards to development. What are your thoughts on smart growth and what will you do to prevent urban sprawl on the island of Maui and across Maui County? Smart growth is a concept that has been around for a couple of decades. And I believe in walkable towns where people congregate, they close off the street like at first night in Wailuku, which was wonderful, you know, and thousands of people were in the street. And that's what I really would like to promote. I don't know if we can do that in Paia or in Lahaina, but that's part of what I'd like to see for smart growth. But housing is a key issue. And I'm glad to see that just recently the uh, affordable housing was introduced in Kula. And I definitely think that our community needs to have affordable housing because not everybody can afford the million dollar homes that many of the people on the mainland come to buy. The next topic is permitting. What are your thoughts on the county's permitting process for bed and breakfast operations? Should the approval of B&Bs rest in the hand of the council members or in the mayor's appointed planning director? That's easy. The mayor. The council is supposed to provide laws for the county. And one of the reasons I'm running for mayor is because everybody knows that all government, and our county government in particular, do everything slowly. And it's a good idea if we can have the mayor decide about things like bed and breakfast. Now, there's no question that uh, shutting them down, which is something that people did to ad adhere to the law, and yet they'd been in existence for many years. And actually, I know people who moved off the island as a result of that change. And I think that's not right. I think that the council can help by changing the laws to be more modern, more in the digital age, where everybody can, in fact, do a lot of work, including their, run their own businesses from their home, thanks to the computer and the internet. We've had a rash of fires recently, as you know, mm -hmm. on the island of Maui in particular. Are you in support of or against a fireworks ban? I'm actually in support of a fireworks ban. I think fireworks should be handled by professionals. I love the fireworks display in Lahaina. And Unfortunately, too many problems have occurred with fireworks, not just in Maui, but all over the country. Million dollar fires that get started by a kid playing around with fireworks. So just one of those things that I think is not a good idea. So I'm in support of a fireworks ban. Transient accommodations tax has been a huge topic this last legislative session. If elected to serve, what would you do to ensure at the county level that Maui keeps its share of the TAT? Yeah, we definitely provide more than our share to the state government. And I think we need to negotiate with the state for our fair share. I mean, we are sending over a lot of tax dollars, and I think we should try to keep more of that here on Maui to allow us to develop our own infrastructure and continue to servicing the tourist industry, which is why they come here. On the topic of water, what are your plans to improve wastewater treatment on Maui and your thoughts about injection wells? Injection wells are one of those heated topics. Uh, in many ways, any kind of new technology is generally heated. There are, I think, 1.7 million injection wells in the United States. So obviously, this is something that has been proven and can work. Now, I know people are concerned in Maui about blooms f for the algae in the ocean. And the studies have shown that that does not occur as a result of injection wells. It's not clear that that's a as a result. So I'm in favor of using injection wells. At the same time, our infrastructure for wastewater treatment, which will include additional pipes 
needs to be put in. Now that may take years, and that's why we got to be realistic and start uh, keep producing. We currently have, I believe, 18 injection wells in Maui County, and I think it's a good idea to keep using them for now. And that's a good way to get rid of our sewage. Okay. Any closing thoughts? This is your opportunity to give some contact information or any upcoming campaign details that you have planned. Uh, my phone number is, and my campaign headquarters is 877-4433. My email is ori, O-R-I, at globalbrain.com, all one word, global brain as in what's in your head. And my website, where you can find this booklet, is www.mauitopia.org. I hope you'll vote for me for mayor. And again, I plan to bring business efficiency to our county government and truly make Maui, since we all, all of us that live here know it is the best place on earth, but we also know about some of the problems we have, like crime and lack of water and wastewater uh, treatment. We know about some of those problems, which I hope to improve, and then we can make it truly no-koi.